Hello Super Traders and welcome to Super Trader TV's weekly wrap up for trading week of November 16th to November 20th. In US market, all three main US stock indexes paired the previous week's losses, gaining over 3% last week after investors tracked gains in the retail sector and the Fed's recent tone which projects that rate hikes will be slow and steady. The US dollar gained last week through a week of economic data that met expectations as the Federal Reserve gets closer towards rate hikes. In European markets, major European stock indexes made large gains, with most changes taking place at the beginning of the week. Investors tracked gains in global markets and showed resilience after last week's terror attacks in Paris. The euro depreciated against the US dollar last week as ECB President Mario Draghi showed he is willing to add more stimulus to the eurozone. And the British pound also declined against the greenback. In Asian markets, Asian stock indexes followed other major markets higher last week. Indexes were held in check towards the end of the week by a higher yen after the Bank of Japan decided not to change their current monetary policy. The New Zealand dollar climbed higher last week after impressive retail sales data, and the Australian dollar also rose against the US dollar as US Fed meeting minutes weakened the greenback. And here are last week's commodities highlights. Despite a lower than expected inventories print, crude oil moved lower last week as increased supply took its toll. Gold and silver continued to depreciate last week, although they were able to make gains at the end of the week after a strong trend exhaustion pattern. This was SuperTrader TV's weekly wrap-up. Have a happy and profitable trading week.